All right, friends, we're here to the back of the kitchen, ready to go, all of our stuff packed in. So why don't you come a little closer and we'll go step by step. We have our water tank up top. Uh, we go ahead and take our cooktop out. And generally, we're cooking like this with the drawer out. These couple of different surfaces have helped just in when we're preparing foods and we need a place to put plates or put jars. Underneath, we have our drawer full of our utensils, pots and pans, Tupperware and plates, cast iron underneath there as well. We have a great fold-out table that's very compact. So we usually set this up when we need it. And it gives us that one extra surface that's really helpful. This is our Coolatron cooler. It's powered by 12 volts. It's a solid state fan. Generally, when we're driving around, this is plugged into the car. And then when we go on day hikes, we plug it into the auxiliary battery. That's a couple of 12 volt leads. We have our dry goods cabinet. So we put a little top on this. So we're able to use that as a surface. Uh, in here, we keep all of our potatoes, grapefruits, avocados, other dry items as well. And that's worked out pretty well for a week's worth of food. We have our spice drawer full of spices and a couple other things. Up top, we have our daily use items, our pepper, our salt, our sriracha, our olive oil, coffee grinder. Uh, so that's the kitchen. Kitchen's worked out super well. We're really happy with it. Okay, we're inside the van. I'm gonna show you our bed pads, recline the bed, and then a little bit of the interior. And our final piece is the desk. So we custom ordered these bed pads. So it just meets the back end of the cooler in the kitchen and they fit great, I fit great. I'll go ahead and take this and put it into recline mode. Take one platform up, switch our little keys, pop this in place, grab the platform plus the foam bed, and we're in. And that's the recline mode, where then, I can casually sit as I always like to. To keep us stealth, especially if we're visiting in a city, uh, we have these curtains made in the black felt on the outside. A nice, beautiful interior curtain color texture on the inside. So I'll go ahead and put these up so you can see what we're working with. Our nice back window curtains. Once we have our back gate curtain and we have our two side windows and then we have one that goes behind us as well, it is nice and dark in here and from the outside all the tinted windows just look like they're tinted and nothing's happening on the inside. Uh, when we go on day hikes it also keeps the interior of the van is specifically all of our food nice and cool. We have a little sneaky shelf here for a couple of things, a little access to down below for some storage, and definitely some space to sit uh, or store stuff down below where my feet are. I did design the bed platforms to be the height of the bucket seats so I could just fit my head in here and sit comfortably. We also have our nice electrical system. Uh, a good family friend designed this. Here we have our primary battery voltage and then our leisure battery voltage and to charge the leisure battery we hit this relay on which connects the auxiliary battery to the car battery and the alternator. Uh, so this gives us power to run the cooler during the day without the car being on and allows us to turn the inverter on so we can do other things at night if we need more power. And we also have uh, 12 volt lead right here mounted straight into the car so I can take our USB and USB-C and plug that right in to power laptops and phone at night if we need to. One of the biggest pieces of this design with the recline option was for a desk and this is one of my favorite parts. So I have this piece of ply here it has a couple of keys to fit in to this little section here. Let's pop this in slides in and it's pretty good by itself uh, so even just supporting a laptop or when we're cooking this helps for an extra surface 
or if it's raining outside, we can have dinner inside the van, which is really nice. And the last little piece, just an extra support. So if we put a bunch of stuff on it, we can keep that table supported and it's good to go. It's been a lot of fun to have the desk and the recline option. And then of course, to be able to break it down and put the bed back.